All right, check it out, guys. It's Trevor James. We are in Hatay, Southeast Turkey. I am so pumped because today we're going to be bringing you for a full-on street food tour of Hatay, and then we're driving up to Antep, the next culinary hotspot in Turkey. Just two hours drive, going for lots of food. Let's check it out. Get ready for the ultimate street food road trip to the world-famous UNESCO city of Gaziantep. Because today, we're bringing you in for eight street foods that'll blow you away, including the oldest baklava shop in the world and visiting the kid sensation kebab master himself, Abdu Samet. At 14 years old, you're gonna love it. So make sure to watch all the way until the end to enjoy all these foods with us. Let's eat. And our friends and guides are just right up here. They're bringing us for a full on Antakya breakfast. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, Amra? Fine, how about you? Good to see you. You as well? Yeah. Ready for the breakfast? Let's go. We have a good breakfast. Okay. Let's go inside. Let's go. First spot for breakfast. Traditional courtyard, look at this. This is beautiful. So we've got trees in the courtyard. This is traditional in Hatay, right? Yes, actually. Uh, grapefruit and mandarin. Wow. There's so many. Can you just grab one? Take one. Oh, look at that. Whoa! Direct. Look at that. Wow. Whoa. Mm. Okay, and we just got invited into the kitchen to see the making of the special style omelette here, right? Yes, right. Marhaba. Oh, look at all these. So we've got all the mezes here. Yes. And the omelette action is going to happen in the back here. Starting here. Okay, we got onion. Okay, let's watch how this Hatay breakfast omelette is made. Olive oil. olive oil. So this is the menengish here. Yes, right. The flowers. He's chopping it up, the flowers. Oh! And then they go right in with the onions. Yeah. That's the pistachio relative herb. It's the uh, flour, right? And then a little chili. Wow, this is super unique. Chocolate zetle. Okay, here comes the eggs. Ooh. It's coming along so nice, and we're gonna eat this amazing menengish omelet with Turkish breakfast. Okay, here's the plating. Oh, look at that. Oh, and with some bread. Oh, super hot! <laughs> okay. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Wow. It's so delicious, like a floral, woodsy, salty, and then the aroma from the spices they put in there. A little bit of that pepper, a little onion. Chocolate zetle. Chocolate zetle. Mmm. Look at that. This is the ultimate Turkish. Breakfast spot. Oh, so you can get eggs any style. You can get the menamin. You can get the local style, the Hatay way. And I think this is our breakfast here. Wow, let's take a look. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, and then a little pomegranate molasses on the olives there. A couple nice salads. Thank you. Chocolate zetle. Look at this Turkish breakfast. Oh, he got the full on Turkish breakfast. So lots of stuff here. Apart from this amazing omelet, we've got all these. Sides to go. Oh, and let's get a hummus for breakfast. Hummus in Antakya is just unbelievable. Mm. Let's start. Mm. Oh. Oh. Mm. Wow. Look at these local olives here. Small but full of flavor. I think this one is the real winner. That local champion herb, of the table. The champion. Worth coming to Hatay for. Thank Bezzel you. Done. Thank Sağ you so much. Olsun. Thank you so much. Delicious. Sağ Thank you. Sağ Amazing. Sağ Amazing. Sağ Amazing. Sağ Amazing breakfast and we're on our way to Gaziantep. Okay, so two and a half hour drive and we're in Antep for more amazing food. Yes. And okay, and I think we're just stopping on the road for a tandoor on the way there. Okay, here we are on the way to Antep. And there's a little bread stall here for a snack. Merhaba. Oh, merhaba. Wow, look at this. Yeah. Ooh. They are making with spinach, potatoes, and cheese. Wow. So she's going to make a fresh kojlema here. Yeah. Let's see how it's done. Okay, so she's just rolling out this dough, getting that. Open it with some flour. Getting some flour on there. Here's That's the cheese. The cheese. Wow, it's the the classic yellow cheese. Actually. Yellow cheese. Oh, yeah. yellow cheese. Okay, so that's a plain yellow cheese version. Some butter on it. Oh, village butter. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get a couple varieties here. One with the spinach, chili, and local cheese. Yeah. And then Ting, you're gonna get potato, right? Potato with spinach. Potato with spinach. She's really just pro at making these. 
Look at how perfectly round it is. Oh, and then spinach, chili, and local white cheese. Local white cheese, and we're gonna add some yellow oh, cheese some for you. extra cheese. Wow. You can smell the aroma of the spinach in there. And then boom, it goes right on this circular flat grill. And then she's loading up the butter. And then Ting's getting potato. Oh, I think you did the right choice there, Ting. Spinach and potato. That one looks good. Look at that. Look at that, right on that grill. Here comes the butter. Thank you. Chocolate Italy. Looks good. Okay, so we got two versions. This one's mine. Oh, look at that. Wow. And then she's just gonna roll it up. Oh, and then roll it up to go. Thank you. Oh, look at that. And then here comes things. Oh, look at things. It doesn't get any better than right on the side of the street. Thank you. Oh, and she sells these uh, spiced pepper bread as well. And then she just puts it right on the top here as well. So a little bit of pepper, some nigella seeds. Wow. Let's try it out. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Mmm! You love it? Whoa! That is amazing. Look at all that spiced spinach with the light, like a village cheese. And then upgraded with that yellow cheese as well. Thank you. Bye bye. Gulegule. Chocolate Zetle. King's in love with that. Back on the road. And next up, we're arriving into Gaziantep. The land of the best pistachios and baklava and the famed UNESCO gastronomy city with some of the best food in the world. Let's go! And here we are guys, look, we made it into Gaziantep to bring you for tons of food. Beautiful old streets, incredible feeling as soon as you step in here. And it's also a food hotspot. And we just got invited into a nut factory here, I think. Marhaba! Oh! Look at these! Wow! Oh, and these are all pumpkin seeds. So Antep is famous for its nuts, right? Like the pistachio. Yeah, yeah. The most important thing is the pistachio. And the pumpkin. Oh, and there's this giant machine here roasting them. And they just go right in. Look at that. Look at that walnut husk as the fuel. So the pumpkin seeds are going to have a, a natural smokiness to them. Oh, and here it comes. Look at this. Oh, it's a full-on sunflower party today. Oh, dumping it in. Oh, and he's just adding in cornstarch. That's cornstarch. Oh, and salt. There's the salt. Oh, look at that. The master of the pumpkin seed here. And they're, I think they're finished. Oh, finished. Look, here it comes. Boom. That's a lot of pumpkin seed. This is double roasted. Double roasted is important. Also, it's important for the pistachio. When okay. When they make it double roasted, the taste is different. More, more yeah. strong. Yeah, yeah. And here comes the pistachio. Right in there. Beautiful. Number one pistachio in the world here. Oh, this is pistachio. It smells so aromatic. Okay, time. Pistachios are ready. Look, here it comes. Roast pistachio, beautiful. Here they are. Amazing. Oh, and here's the pistachio. Look at these. And there they are, look at that. Number one pistachio. Okay, let's taste it. Oh, so hot. Look at that, only in Gaziantep. And uh, we're gonna have a bunch of foods and desserts made with pistachio. Mmm. Oh, Wow, it's salted, super aromatic, chocolate jelly. Look, this is their shop. Let's just buy some. And what's this here? More dessert. The outer part is grape. Grape and yeah, they make the grape juice. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, it's like grape leather. Yeah. Outside is le like leather, but... Mm, and then pistachio on the inside. And there's pistachio. look at all these nuts and snacks they've got. Antep is the home of pistachio. Look, premium pistachio. It's all here. Okay, and we're gonna buy some of these amazing grape leather stuff with all. pistachio. I love it. Buy it all yeah, to bring it. back to Dubai yeah. and to our family and friends. Chocolate Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you. And we're gonna go see if we can find some desserts made with those pistachios. Okay, we're making our way through the old market, beautiful old market of Antep here. Look at this, colorful spices everywhere and we're driving up to one of the oldest, most famous baklava shops in the city. Hi, how are you? Hi, fine, thank you, how nice are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you nice too, to meet welcome you. to Gaziantep. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, first we will product, product our baklava, we will make our baklava. Okay. Then we are gonna uh, go to our shop, okay. the oldest baklava shop of the world, and taste the best baklava ever. Wow, yeah, I'm really. excited. I'm gonna explain everything at the shop. Okay, okay let's, go. let's go. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wow. And. This is right in front of your factory. Oh, traditional Turkish coffee. This is menengic coffee. Oh, menengic. Menengic. Menengic is okay. a kind of pistachio. Let's try it out. Mmm. Wow. Wow. Sour, a little bitter, sweet, aromatic, so nutty. Aromatic. Yeah, very aromatic. Very nice. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. This is our factory. Okay. Uh, now we, we are gonna make our baklava. Then we will go to the shop and eat it. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. And we are the full baklava doctors now. <laughs> oh, it's a full baklava factory here. Okay, here comes the tray. Look how thin it is. Oh, it's silky. Yeah. He's making this job since uh, last 25 years. 25 years. Yeah. Wow. So Gaziantep baklava is the best because of ingredients and because of the mastery. Because of the mastery and ingredients. Combined. Yeah. Okay, and then cutting it evenly. Oh, and then just scraping. Okay. Oh, look at that folding. It's yeah. just folded up so into a little rectangle. Oh, and then here's starting to just roll it around the tray. So he's just laid down some of the clarified butter, yeah. and then making no, we are sheet making after baklava. sheet. Making sheet after sheet, yeah. It's about 40 layers. 4-0. Four 4-0. Four zero. Zero. Yeah. Oh, wow. 40 layers here. Amazing process of making this baklava. Look how thin it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can see directly through it. Oh, on the scale. Yeah. Here we go. Wow. Oh, and a little, yeah, a little ghee, a little butter. Ghee, a little butter. Spread, Amazing. Spread to the whole, whole tray. Yeah. Equal, all all equal. perfectly equal. It's like making a super luxury baklava cake. Okay. Look at how he's spinning it. And we've got the perfect base here. Oh, yes. On top of the kaimak. These guys are all just pure baklava masters. Wow, look at how he just scooped it up like that. Okay, what's the next step? Let's see. So oh, he's just. Adding on these layers. How many baklava trays do you make every day? It depends on the uh, orders. But for example, today uh, we made near 150 trays. Okay, so he's cutting into the edge now. Yeah. And then this is the ghee, right? Yeah, this is ghee. Wow. Look. Oh, so each time he's adding another layer, and then the ghee in between, yeah, and another layer, and spraying it. Time to slice. Yes. So he's added in. Quite a lot of layers now, I've lost track. You said there's 40 layers total? 40 layers total, near 40. Wow. Maybe 38, but it must be 40. Oh, so he's just like compressing all these edges down. Oh, look at this knife. Now is the slicing. Yeah. He's got like super speed. Now we will add butter. Wow. Oh, now for the diamond shape. Diamond shape, yeah. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Oh, and then more butter. <laughs> That's a lot of butter. You can really smell that aroma. Uh, let's go to upstairs. Okay. Uh, you must put it Thank into you. the oven and Thank you. Uh, wait for Thank the you. Uh, okay. baking. Let's, let's go. go, let's go. Thank you. So we just put it in like right on this giant paddle. And then it goes. Mm. Pulling in. Also, you must meet with my master. His name is Hara. Marhaba. He worked with my father. My grandfather and my father's grandfather. Wow. So we are uh, working together as a fourth generation. Fourth generation. Yes. With him, master. With him. Thank you. Nice <laughs> to meet you. Oh, and they just come right out. Look at this. And then onto the baklava lineup. And it looks like they're just separating them here. And then we will add syrup. Oh, add syrup. And we will leave them to relax. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you put yeah, a little yeah, lemon in the yeah, sugar in there. Because of canceling the crystallizing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Look at this. Wow. Wow, that's a good amount of syrup. So they're gonna be nice and sweet with the natural yes. pistachio aroma. Mm -hmm. And that's ready to sell, is that right? No, not ready to sell. Oh, there's more. Yeah. There's more process. Oh, now just separate them. Yes. 
This is amazing. So these are all just cooling down now. Yeah. Thank you very much. Amazing to see. What an amazing process to witness. And now we're gonna go to the shop and try one of these beauties out. Look at that. Thank you. We go try now. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, and we're back on the street. Yeah, how was it? It was amazing. <laughs> Let's go try it now. Let's go try it now. Yeah. Oh wow, and we're going right in. Yeah. <laughs> fully deep in the alley we are here. so close now. Wow. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, and here it is. Welcome. Gulu Gulu Mahmud. Gulu. Gulu Mahmud Gulu is my father. Is your father? My name is Murad and my brother is Jadet. There's writing since 18. Okay, here we, we get go. A new thing. Oh, Let's the baklava heaven. Look at this. As soon as you step in, there's just trays and trays of baklava. Okay, and I think we're gonna get like a full on baklava feast right now. This is the ones we just made. Yeah. Oh. So this is the rectangular one. Yeah. This one has the cream or no? Also cream baklava. Also cream? Only cream. Oh, so we're gonna get a nice luxury baklava tray here. So he's just helping choose a variety of baklava here. Oh, the pistachio. He named it pistachio rolls. Okay. It is only pistachio dough and sugar. Oh, and what's this one? Shabiet. We name it Shabiet. Shabiet. And this one is special Shabiet. It has much more pistachio and less dough. Oh, and then loading it with the pistachio. Oh my, <laughs> look at that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You will feel it with your five senses. Five sense baklava. First, you are looking. <laughs> when you look at the bottom, yeah. If it is uh, shiny, it says you I'm fresh. And then smell it and oh, feel the butter and butter. the yeah. flavor. And then while you are biting, you will hear the sound of baklava. Mm -hmm. And now you are eating. Oh. You will feel the fifth sense. Mm. By your tongue. Wow. Oh, the baklava, the pistachio flavor is so aromatic, and the butter. Yeah. Like you said, it's like village butter, right? Like premium quality. Really premium color. butter. Yes. Look at that, it's saturated with pistachio. Mmm. Mmm. Seriously, delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Worth flying into Gajam Tapwar. Thank you so much. It was, it was a pleasure for me. Thank you. Whenever you want, we are waiting for you at Gaziantep. Thank you. Amazing. Uh, amazing inshallah, experience. we are waiting everybody to Gaziantep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we are in the central market of Antep now. Look at this, guys. All the locals are out shopping, hanging with family, eating. And right up ahead, there's a famous, famous dessert shop. Apparently, they use like kilos and kilos of pistachio. <laughs> So let's go check it out. Oh, and here it is. Merhaba. Merhaba. How are you? Oh, look at all these pistachios. Oh, there it is. Yusuf Usta is the pistachio master. So you can see in the back, they're making those batter soaked in syrup. And then here they come out. Wow. It's covered in that pistachio. And this is Yusuf Usta, but he says to call him pistachio man. He's the true pistachio master here. Pistik man. Wow, they're just like uh, fried batter soaked in syrup. Oh, that's extreme sweetness levels. Very sweet. If you love sugar, this place is for you. But you also get the premium pistachio. So it's extra aromatic. Thank you. Oh, we're going full on. We're getting into the kitchen here. Into the process. Oh, and put in. Oh, and then mixing. Oh, pistachio. Wow. <laughs> oh, let's just dip it in that syrup. Wow. Oh. Mm. Wow. Mm. Chocolate. <laughs> And we're ready to go. Thank you. They're giving me the hat to go. So we're just going to keep rolling. And next up, guys, just driving through downtown Gaziantep, making our way for some special kebabs. Kebabs are amazing in Turkey, but here in Gaziantep, I hear they're next level. And it's just right up ahead. Let's go try them out. Street kebabs. OK, here we are. Time for some kebab. <laughs> Kebab. Ready for kebab? Kebab time! I'm ready. Let's I'm so hungry. It. Let's do it. Okay, and just look at this. There's a bunch of kebab shops all lined up in a row. And this is the Usta here. He's been doing this for decades. Look, since 1970. Merhaba, how are you? 
I have rice. Uh, and look at all the kebab here. We have liver over there. Liver. And we have Adana? ship. That's Adana and the other one is Rufa, I think. That's Kushname. Oh, that's Kushname. The ultra tender the lamb is... oyster, like super luxury level. Only one piece of lamb on the back. And then what else do we have? Uh, this is plain kebab. Plain right? kebab. Yes. Adana. Adana. Liver. It's the neck part. Oh, and the neck Chip. part. Chip. The oh, neck meat. Lamb neck meat. That's tender. It's ship. Ship. Okay, and here's the moment we've been waiting for. Look at this. Ooh, it's a giant bread. Sheep liver. Onion. Wow. Chocolate. Looks good. We're gonna put that on the table and then we've got the, our kebabs yeah. coming too. Then let's take a look at these. He's 51 years working as a master. Wow. Look at those. We got pepper. Those are gonna be spicy. Tomato. And then a. Oh, it's just using coals. It's gonna have so much aroma in there. Salt of the Oh, Oh, that's a liver. Fresh tomato. You yeah. get one of these like kebab platters. Oh, is this uh, kushleme? That's the prime piece. Oh. Wow. That is amazing. And that is pure and tap special. Oh, with the chili. Spicy. Thank you so much. Wow. So we got the special uh, liver wrap, tomatoes, Some chilies over there, oh, pickles, and we have uh, cabbage. Pickled. And then and some, some salad, onions with smock. Uh, this is black pepper, black pepper, red pepper, cumin. Oh, and cumin. I want to show you something first without okay. bread. Okay. That's the kushleme, right? Yes. That's the Antep special. Get some cumin on it. Ooh. Ready? Luxury. Mmm. <laughs> it's so soft. It melts in your mouth. And, and it's just so juicy soft. inside, and isn't it? Chocolate zitli. The best. Then black pepper on it, mm. some chili on it, mm. some kimyon, some onions. Oh, that's for me. Yes, for you. Oh, thank you. Cheers. Ready? <laughs> mm. Okay, next up we're gonna try this lamb liver with uh, pepper and onion wrap. And you can upgrade it with the onion and sumac, right? Yeah. Let's just break it in half. Wow! Mm. 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 Oh, good. It's nice. Maybe a little sweet from the caramelized onion. Yeah, yeah. Mmm. It doesn't really taste like liver. No, it doesn't. It feels like meat. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Chocolate. Amazing. And people are so nice here. Really, this is an amazing city. And we're going for more all day. More food is going to be good. And next up, guys, we are driving deep out into the countryside to see a special Antep snack, the sujuk. It's walnuts coated in, it's grape syrup, right? Grape syrup, right. Grape yep. syrup. And uh, it's gonna be super cool to watch. Here we are guys, sujuk masters up here. We're going in to see the process. And here we are, the sujuk factory, whoa! How are you? I know you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> so this is the sujuk factory here exactly <laughs> <laughs> so this is the uncoated one here right okay and it's so Antep special Antep special what we are making is like that uh, we are buying like the uh, shelled uh, the walnut walnut and then we are uh, sending to like the uh, the housewife wife okay so they are cracking it and then putting on the like the ropes like this and then we are making like just like what you saw oh wow what's this this is like the kind of we are calling like the plastic you're using pistachio shell yes. as the fuel yes exactly this really is the city of pistachio exactly everything pistachio <laughs> <laughs> oh so here it starts so is this the second coating right here that he's exactly. gonna do oh it's going right in exactly so you're saying this is like a, a sugar no, it's like the molasses, molasses? water, starched. molasses, starch, and sugar. Sugar and water. And water. Oh wow! So Look good. at those. I and can then tell you, this is like the healthiest snack in the world. Healthiest <laughs> snack in the world. Look at that. It's just a walnut. In it. The walnut, yeah. And then molasses. In it. It's beautiful. And molasses. Watch this move, guys. The three-part move. One side, the other side, and then full submersion. Boom! And then hangs it up and then spins this to let them just slide down. Wow. How long do you let it cool for before the next coat? Oh, it's about like the half hour. Half hour. Yeah, exactly. This is just amazing. Look at all these 
these walnuts just dripping with this molasses syrup. And is this the final coat here, fourth one? Yeah, this is the final one. Wow. And then after that, it takes like two days to get dry out. Two days? Two days. Okay, so when one is done, look at this. It's just like an endless factory here of walnuts ready to submerge. After 10 days, you can have him this one. 10 days? Exactly. Oh, so it's already cooled for 10 days. Love okay, the there's, a, there's a ropes in it. You just need to like the kind of... Come on, just slide like the whole thing out. Exactly, right here. Oh, <laughs> look at that. It's like a, a soft a exactly. jelly. Yes. Thank so, you for showing us. Oh. I mean, my pleasure. Beautiful. You get to nice eat this to all the time. Yeah. <laughs> this is my first time right exactly. here. Exactly. So I'm gonna give it to you this. You know? Mm. Oh! Oh! This is amazing. Oh wow. That is so delicious. Thank Super you. Super aromatic with the just grape juice, right? Exactly. Just grape juice. And then you can just pull it out. <laughs> Thank you. This is for you. <laughs> mm. Oh wow, I mean. Uh, James, thank you this so is much. For you. <laughs> Too much. Ahmed just gave us this beautiful bag of these sujak walnuts. So what thank you guys. It's amazing. So cool to watch this. Everyone is so friendly here in Turkey. Thank you, Ahmed. No problem. So no. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Take care. Okay, next up, time for some meat. Yeah, yeah, we need to eat. Time for some meat after all that, all those amazing sweets. Time for some meat. Okay, and next up, guys. To finish off the night, we're going to a very famous kebab joint. Not only for the kebabs, but also for a very special young star that's working here. He has amazing skills, and it's all right in here. Take a look. Hey, hello, Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I've seen you all over the internet. So this is Abdul Samed, and your father is Abdullah Usta. Yes. And very happy to be here today. And we're here to see, we've heard all about your chopping skills and your kebab skills. He is an amazing sensation. Thank you. And look at these kebabs. All the kebabs here. So we've got... Morash. Morash? Kima. Adana. Kima. Adana. Aynen. Adana. Wow. Oh, and what's this? Ishti köfte. Ishti köfte. Aynen. Oh, what's on the inside? Oh, the land of pistachio. Aynen. What's on the inside? Is it uh, meat. meat and pistachio? Meat, spices. Thank you, Abdul Samet. Look at that. So it's sheep with spices and bulgur and then wrapped around the outer bulgur layer as well, right? Mm. Mm. Wow. Wow. So delicious. The lamb fat just explodes in your mouth with flavor. And the pistachio, who would have thought that meat and pistachio could go together? Wow, he's a real pro. Liver wrap now. Thank you. Mm. Amazing food. Mm. Mm. Very nice. He's spicy, sweet from onions, super aromatic. Mm. He's already a 14 year old master. What did you do here? Look at that, he's just <laughs> hammering these in like they're nails. Okay, here's the moment. Look at this. We've got the hot pan. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Here it comes butter on. Oh, look at that. And he's gonna put the, the meat right on the flame. Wow. And then it's go right out. And this is the moment we've been waiting for. Abdul Samet, 14 years old, is gonna show us his incredible knife skills. Oh, look at those knife skills. Okay, so here's the cucumber. Wow, look at those cucumber chopping skills. Super fast. Super fast. Oh, I'm not a good one. I know what. I know. I know. Oh. Can't believe he's only he's 14, only 14, 14 yeah. years old. And he's, he's already a master. Yeah, already a master. Already a master. Nice. <laughs> so nice. So you get some greens, you get some lavash, some tomato. Oh, and then here come the kebabs. Wow, each one of these looks just amazing too. You can get a simple lavash kebab greens platter. Oh, and you can get a, a oh, it's chicken, chicken wrap. Oh, a liver, liver, yeah. It's just ultimate kebab heaven here. Okay, oh, and this is ours here. Oh, and then some greens and onions. Okay, so we've got an oregano base. We've got some greens. We've got some pepper and tomato. Here we go. So he's just laying down the lavash. What's this? That's a uh, smith kebab with yellow cheese. With yellow cheese, okay. Oh, and then he's adding in pistachio. Pistachio on it, yeah. 
Oh, and then here's the moment. Ali Nazik, this is what you travel to Antep for. That's eggplant, yogurt, garlic. Garlic, and the meat is coming oh, on Oh, and it. the meat, right there. Wow. Wow, look at that. Okay, this is the moment we've been waiting for. The spiced butter. Ooh, wow. Oh, it looks delicious. Oh, and here's our butter. Look at this. The kushleme going right on. Oh, look at that. Oh, so hot. Oh. Seriously, the juiciest kebab you'll ever eat right there. And this here is the Ali Nazik super tender lamb kebab covered in a secret aromatic spiced butter. Oh, putting the eggplant, yogurt, garlic in the wrap. Thank you. Ali Nazik, look at that. Thank you. Mm. Wow, that spiced chili butter is so delicious. And then the eggplant, wow. Thank you, Abdul Samad. What a mountain of meat. Simi kebab. No spice, just natural flavor with some cheese. Oh, okay. Mm. Wow, wow. It's so delicious. It's so buttery. So good. Thank you. What an amazing spectacle. I think for me the highlight is the Ali Nazik. These incredible, oh, look at those, juicy kebabs with the eggplant, yogurt, garlic, and then the spiced chili butter. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. That is so nice. Mm. Extremely flavorful with that spiced chili butter. The kebabs are just so juicy. Amazing. We're going to eat and it's been a wonderful day in Antep. Thank you, Abdul Samad. Thank you. Chok It's really good. Thank you. See you next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. I want to give a big thank you to Turkish Tourism and as well to our wonderful friends, Emra. It's my pleasure. They took I... us all around. Got to come for coming. to Antakya and Gaziantep for the best food. Come In back. Turkey. Come back. Yeah.